Hi Nets, today we are going to build this place grinder with this piston funnel It works very well if If there won't be any piston funnel then it doesn't work as fast because the blazes stay on the blocks And they wait till they randomly decide to move But having pistons like this works very well I tried with the coral fan one but that didn't seem to work me because I'm using tinted glass here but we will get into nuances of making the blaze uh, grinder like this well the first step is to find a proper blaze spawner what do I mean by proper well this is not a proper blaze spawner because it is in open because it is in open stuff like ghast this fluffy boy over there or wither skeletons normal skeletons, blazes, or magma creams, magma slimes, I don't know how they're called. They can jump on you while you're building, making it incredibly dangerous, especially when you're mid-game. So what you would want is to find a spawner, which is mostly covered or completely covered like this one. You don't need to make much barriers, and you can easily work in the place spawner around it we'll move to second step that is to find a lot of glowstone like this patch over here you don't necessarily need glowstone you can use some other block which also emits light can be placed in here and is not necessarily harmful to you like shroom lights maybe uh, those sea lanterns, but they are quite ha rare to find unlike the glowstone or shroom lights You can't really use torch in this case because the blaze spawners uh, They can spawn blazes in a higher light level and the torches don't really meet that kind Don't really meet that light level So you would be needing to spawn a lot more torches and you can't place them in air so that's why we are going to need glowstone you can mine a bunch just in case if you misplaced or uh, somehow lost it that's it make sure that your pickaxe is silk touch otherwise you would be getting glowstone dust instead next step is to place few safety barriers towards the place body you will be working around so you would be go like this to up Make another two up and make a barrier like this. Why is it here? Well, this barrier will protect you against slimes, nether ones, and wither skeletons. Wither skeletons and slimes are a bit tall, so they can't squeeze through two gap. So they would be stopped. Just place several of these so wither skeletons just won't jump at you. Once you are done baby proofing all the corridors, go towards the spawner with the glowstone dust and place it somewhat like this. The spawning spots for the spawner in Minecraft Bedrock Edition is 4 out from the spawner in all 4 cardinal directions. So place it something like this, 2 up from the spawner and 1 down. So this is how it looks from the top, all the spawnable spots, and this is how it looks from the side, all the spawnable spots. Now that we are done with disabling the spawner, you can go back to the overworld and collect these items. I will tell you the exact number required to build exactly what we are going to build here. You need one lever, two tridents, four chests, 6 hoppers, 1 sticky piston, 45 normal pistons, 56 observers, 40 solid blocks for redstone funnel. We will be needing to power it, power the redstone dust, 40 strings, 47 redstone dust, and 158 tinted glass. It's about two and a, two and a half stacks of tinted glass used. Now, before we start, you need to know that the tinted glass is not necessary for the build. It is just for aesthetic. You can use some other block if you like. 
I just pick tinted glass because it looks cool and in future maybe if I'll be adding something near here so the lights lighting update would not cause any problem inside the grinder so that's why I picked the tinted glass it is transparent and it blocks all kind of light you can add some opaque blocks here the farm would work just as fine now that we are done with all the bips and pops for the farm we are going to finally start building it first we are going to uh, clear out the all the spawning spots for the places and put a barrier around it for for in this case i'm putting tinted glass i'm going four out in every cardinal direction of the spawner and also two on the top that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, meet you when we'll be putting observers and the pistons. welcome back now I'm going to be placing pistons I'm going to place pistons just in the corner blocks which are just near to the spawning area so one block below the spawner we are going to place pistons on the corners like I placed one piston over there I'm going to place pistons around on this same Y level Actually, the piston funnel works like this. This piston on the top, observer at the bottom, which detects any collision with the string. Now, this pushes blaze by one block. 
then just below the string there is going to be another piston and just below the piston there is going to be another observer doing exactly the same till we get blazes into a one by one hole and from there we push the blazes into a trident killer and farm them now here I'm going to test boom it pushes me back now let's go back to the spawning mechanics of the spawner spawners actually stop spawning mobs if there are too many around it but through testing as you can see even though there are a lot of zombies the blaze spawner is still spawning but if there would be six blazes then it will stop spawning that means that the spawner is only affected by the mob it is trying to spawn so you need to there's also a checking area it's this big this this tinted glass area it's not it's not square it's also diamond shaped through testing i have found out like over here i have placed six places in the corner but this will still keep working and it will stop once we reach six places but here uh, in the proper area this is the proper checking area you need to clear this area you need to like fill with, with blocks so no mobs would be there if mobs would be here then the spawner will work even slower as you can see nothing is being spawned now to give you a proper understanding of the volume that needs to be filled with the blocks you need the spawning area to be clear but there's also 16 by 10 by 16 area where it checks for mobs of the same type so this area needs to be filled now how does my mob grinder fit in this as you can see the funnel pushes mobs into the one by one hole and this hole is outside the spawn uh, this hole is outside the checking area so the spawner keeps spawning more because it sees as if there are no mobs here now this is the piston layout the way I have set up just below the spawner just at the edges of the spawning area we place pistons like this five five and three and three then we go down just after just below the string there's going to be another piston now here the setup is five five one and one and so on and so forth we go towards this one by one hole in the middle now that we are done with the funnel this is the trident killer design used we have five uh, hoppers which are going towards an output chest over here and we have four pistons on the top the pistons are powered by this observer observer chain and this observer chain is detected by the observers just below the pistons and we need a sticky piston here this will start this lever is also positioned where you need to afk it's just close enough for xp to fly through gaps between two blocks you need to fill it completely with opaque blocks don't use transparent blocks like i'm going to use in the time lapse and from one of the observers which stick out like this like one over here one over here and one over here you need to uh, make a redstone line like this and this redstone line will uh, lead to a piston which connects to the funnel just above this funnel uh, just above this piston there is going to be funnel with a gap of one block let me go through this funnel over here as you can see where we compress mobs to one by one hole just below it we have a piston which pushes the mobs into the grinder the blocks near the trident killer need to be opaque so that sometimes the mobs tend to get pushed too hard they get too much momentum and they can glitch through the blocks so if it would be a transparent block it would not suffocate and die but if it would be an opaque block it will suffocate and die this is mostly for less lag if there would be too many mobs then it will get more laggy and laggy 
Hopefully that explanation made sense. Now let's go back to the time lapse.
Thanks for watching. Come again next time. Bye.